What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. Definitely make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so y'all can stay up to date every single time I drop more technical heat. But in this video specifically, I really just want to break down what is rotational program. So why should you even prefer to get into a rotational program versus just taking a direct full-time job offer if you're an engineer or even if you're a business major it pretty much ties into both because in most cases it's like you could take the engineering route if you're an engineer or you could take the business route but i know also business majors they typically also have rotational programs and i'm pretty sure other majors do too but these are just the two that i'm really familiar with okay so what is a rotational program right so jumping into it Let's say you get hired or you get hired from this company and they like you and everything checks out. They'll pretty much ask, I mean, do you like this full-time role? Would you like to just go straight into the full-time role? And if they really like you, they'll say, you know, we also have this rotational program, which allows you to work in different job positions over a course of a certain amount of months. So typically if you come in full-time, you're going to work full-time for about a good three plus years and then if you want to switch and go to a whole new job you'll do that around like on average about three years later but typically jumping into a rotational program you could end up working for a job for like four months or even six months and then you'll rotate and sometimes you can rotate four different times it's jobs where you can rotate seven different times so you just get to keep rotating 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 and then once the program is over you get to go back and pick which specific job did you like the most and try to just go back to that one specifically full time so let's get into the rotational program video i'm going to give you guys five top tips as to why the rotational program is really beneficial versus just jumping and taking a full-time offer okay so jumping into number one right so you have multiple jobs that you're going to do so automatically that already tells you that you're going to have multiple experiences and this is an extremely good way to like grow and build your resume up you know like especially if you're somebody you know you're coming out of college you didn't really have that many internships and boom you just so happen to land a company that has a rotational program so now let's say you're going to go through about four or five different jobs sometimes like i mentioned even seven and basically learn different things so now you could end up putting all seven of these different type of jobs positions on your resume and basically explain you have expertise in all seven of these in some form or fashion so now your resume looking stack okay so jumping in number two so another thing that's really good about the rotational program is the fact that you know you literally get to go to different jobs and see what's different things that you as an engineer your particular type of engineer what you can really do there's a lot of people where when they take that full-time job offer they don't really know anything else unless they had other internships so a lot of people could really just judge the job that they have and just say like well i don't like this engineering position you know i'd much rather take like the business route of engineering or try to do something away from my specific field you hear that all the time because they really don't know like it's their first full time they're working there it done been months done past years done past and some people they really just stereotype that specific position as their field and they don't like it so with the rotational program you get to see and touch all types of different aspects of engineering like for example right now i'm in the rotational program and i'm doing all types of different engineering all across the board so it's just good to just get a taste of everything okay so jumping into number three so once you come in like i mentioned before you become full-time and you also get that offer of you know if you want to get into a rotational program after you interview for the full-time nine times out of ten you're good you sit on that full-time but then you'll have to do another interview for the actual rotational program from what i've done heard i heard a lot of like different type of companies they'll make you do a whole nother interview just to get into the rotational program i don't know if that's all across the board but from the ones that i've done heard yeah you have to basically do a whole nother interview just to get into the rotational program but anyways jumping into that uh positive or another bonus when it comes down to that is the fact that you get paid a little bit more versus just coming in as a full-time and working somewhere full-time like companies tend to really like the fact that you're willing to work all across the board and get that more experience under your belt within the company so you tend to get more money 
Okay, so jumping into benefit number four when it comes down to the rotational program, right? So one thing that's like a given is the fact that your networking skills and the fact that you can network in general will be way more easier versus if you just jumped and just got that one full time, you know, you pretty much go upstairs, make a left, sit in your seat, and you pretty much take that same route for a good three years and you become comfortable with your team. Versus rotating, you're forced to pretty much build your network from going into all of these different groups that probably have like a good 10 people in the group, maybe 15, maybe a certain amount. It'll be way more than just that one job that you pretty much land. So now you know a more variety of people, which unfortunately is the reason how corporate pretty much move you up based on other people, you know, recommending you, liking you inside the certain type of job and other people co-signing you. When you're in one spot, it's, you will still get moved up, of course, if you do extremely good, but it's just a higher chance, of course, if you have other people that's co-signing that you're doing the right thing and you will be a good person in this position to get moved up. Especially with you having experience to different types of positions, some two different jobs could literally say, you know, I would like this person to be in this position and I'll like them to be either in a certain spot, maybe a certain spot that you'll be comfortable with. But if you just stayed at that one position, you're limited to just one versus possibly having two, possibly having three, possibly having multiple ones that would like you to be in a higher position. So you never really know. But the fact that you have that option to actually touch different aspects of the company, it actually helps you. So the last benefit number five, right? This one is basically just to let you know or just give you guys like an idea how long each rotation is. So right now I actually work for General Motors and our rotations are pretty much about six months and you basically work for up to like two years. So six months here, six months there, that's one year, six months there, six months there again. That's two years and the rotational program is over and then out of the four, you get to pretty much pick which one did you like the most and which one you would like to go back to. I know at Chrysler, they have seven rotations for four months. So four months here, four months there, four months here, four months there, four months here, four months there. And then after the seven rotations, then you get to go back and do the same exact thing and pick different positions depending on your preference you may end up going to the exact one that you want. If the manager has an opening, you may end up going to the exact spot that you excelled in out of all seven or all four of the different positions. So that's the last and final spot that I wanted to just touch on as far as my top five benefits of being in a rotational program. And also with the rotational program, you know, you don't have as much of a workload as a full-time person because clearly they know this person is only gonna be here for about six months. This person is only gonna be here for about four months. There's only so much you can really do inside that little time frame, especially if nine times out of 10, you didn't just rotate from a job that you were just in. In most cases, they try to make rotational programs to have each person doing different things. The whole purpose of it isn't for you to do the same exact job, rotate, and then basically be on the same exact job or same you're doing the same exact thing, but it's just a little bit different. Like, Nine times out of 10, they're trying to make you rotate into something that's totally different so you can really touch on different aspects of your majors, different aspects of the company. So that's pretty much my top five when it comes down to why you should take the rotational program route versus just going straight on and just accepting a full-time offer. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram, at Dre the Plug, one, two, three. And then also, go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out. <laughs>